Hey, what's up everybody? Freddy C here, and welcome back to Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. We're going to continue where we left off from our previous gameplay on this little chapter right here called Marooned. Now, this is exactly where the prologue of the game leads up to. So, basically it just continues on what you saw from the prologue, and then from then on into the game, you're going to see what happens on this island. And you're, we're going to see how many bad guys we're going to encounter as well. So, here we go. Let's get started. All right, come on, Nate. Chapter 13. Marooned. I gotta get off this beach. Sam! Sam, can you hear me? I'm be farther, I'm sure. Pretty bad thunderstorm. Oof. You are definitely gonna catch a fever. Sam, god damn it! Sam! Man, you are soaked to the bone, dude. Whoa! I felt your doom there. that or it's either at the bottom of the Indian Ocean right said can't lose anything else besides my life I'm talking to myself that's that's the first sign of crazy yeah let's not do that shall we <sighs> Jesus okay Be a little jet lag there, buddy. No, no. Come on. What the hell with this place? Damn it. Yeah, a little jet lag, huh? So a little worn out, a little tired. Keep going, gotta keep going. You're definitely gonna get sick, dude. Let's take this slow. Nice and steady. Slippery rocks, huh? Oh crap. Oh. oh. Hold on, how does that flashlight not break? You think it would have by now. 
But still, falling like that, oh, definitely an injury and definitely some broken bones. I mean, if it was real life, yeah. Morse code. Where are you? Crap. Yeah. Gotta get to that creepy mountain. Just stay put, Sam. Okay, let's reunite with the big brother. Maybe there's something in this cave over here I could use. didn't work. Think I'm going to be able to do that again? No, no. Woo, that worked. Okay. Right. Wait, something tells me there was something in that cave over there. Nah, it's probably further up. here. Don't break on me now. Right, hang on a minute. Yeah. Definitely make sure infinite ammo is enabled. That should hold. It's hold. going that way. Oh, 
Oh crap. I almost fell to my death there. What the? That's not reassuring. Oof, that is very creepy. No quarter for thieves. in here. I think maybe if I go this way, I might actually find a way out of here. What the? Bad luck, huh? March 20th, 1808. I confronted Burns this morning as we were making preparations to leave the caves. Our crew and food stores diminished. I demanded we return home so that we m might return with more men, more supplies. Burns laughed. Laughed! and repeated his mantra, the treasure is within our reach. I held firm, even if we were to find every stash with one ship remaining, we shall barely have enough room for ourselves on the return voyage, let alone any Hindu gold. I turned to first mate Hayes for affirmation, but he backed away as though I had the plague. Now Burns approached me, a smile on his face, urging me to consider the good of the expedition that I not f foment dissent among the crew. The threat behind his words was plain. I suggested that perhaps I needed rest and retired to my camp. To hell with these fools. I have no intention of dying here. My only legacy words in that man's book. If Burns believes this place to be Libertalia. If he wishes to go on, then he and the others shall go on without me. I shall break from this group at first light. Let us see how far they fare with no navigator. Navigator? A map? Wow. And he made a letter out of it. Ugh, poor bastards. Eh, gotta feel bad for this guy. Hey, seen anyone come by here? Tall, lanky, filled with big, stupid ideas about pirate treasure? Probably not. You trying to climb up there? In those boots? Well, I mean, that's the style back then. I mean... Must have been tough. Oh, hello. Pretty sure you don't need this. Oh, it's a baton. Oh, this should help me climb even higher. It's working. Elliot. It's a pretty jungle. Huh. Whoa. Huh. A 
course, there's mercenaries from Shoreline. Might as well mark them so I know where they are. Alright, I'm gonna need their weapons. Take your rifle. And your pistol. Wait till this guy moves. a goner. I think maybe if I jump at this guy... Yeah, that worked. Ooh, grenade! Pirates love things that go boom. Saw me there for a second there, buddy. All right, then. Contact! Ta-da! Sniper. Take that. I actually like sniper rifles. Okay. Let's keep moving. Perfect timing. And 
Up we go! Or across we go, I should say. Okay. Where to? Okay. Uh, maybe this way? Yep. This way. Huh? What's this? Looks like another letter. To whoever finds this note, know that Jonathan Burns, erstwhile leader and financer of our expedition, has murdered me. And others for want of Avery's treasure. He worked the crew whoop, he worked the crew to the point of exhaustion, promising them glory but bringing them illness and starvation. He bound a man to a mast and left him to die. And then I witnessed the bastard push our navigator to his doom for daring to speak his mind. He found me making preparations to leave for home and confronted me. I brandished my pistol and informed him I was returning to England, where I would inform the world of his deeds. And when I turned away, the blackguard shot me in the back and fled into the jungle. I returned fire, but I am not certain if the bullets hit their mark. My time grows short and my hand weak. In the absence of earthbound justice, I beseech you, pray to God above that Burns pays for his treachery. Signed, Walter Hayes, first mate of the Suffolk, March 23rd, 1808. Wow, that is pretty dark. Yeah, no kidding. Seems like Burns' crew had about as much luck as me with this treasure. Anything in here? No, just a Dirk Dagger. Well, at least I found something. Alright, let's go up. You are? I nearly shot your head off. Sam, you're okay. Yeah, nothing I can't walk away from. It's good to see you're alive, little brother. Come on, we got a treasure to find. Hold up, man, I mean, what are we doing? What do you mean? I mean, our supplies are at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we go steal some from Nadine's army. Yeah, and there's that. We're going up against an army. Yeah, we've been holding our own so far. While being marooned in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to get here, remember? When we had an escape plan. <laughs> Just hear me out. Crazy suggestion. Let's go down there and at least secure one of Rafe's boats. The boats can wait. <laughs> you want to know what we're doing here? We are buying my life back. Okay, and we're going to do that by stepping into that jungle in finding the battalion. Have you even seen any signs of a massive pirate colony? Because I sure the hell haven't. It's a little late to start developing doubts, don't you think? Look, can we at least acknowledge the chance that maybe Avery's idea for a secret pirate utopia didn't pan out? <laughs> and maybe we're just swept up in this fantasy when instead we should be looking for a real way to save you. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch if I have to until I find that treasure. Now, if you're confused about what you're doing here then you can go home Nathan wow that's harsh I can go home are you kidding me do you have any idea what I put on the line to get you here about what I put on the line okay the last 15 years of my this is nothing to do with that it is everything to do with that what oh they I see something here Holy crap. Hey, Henry Avery Sigil. You still want to go home? Let's just see what else we can find. Well, let's look around. 
Ooh, lemurs. Cute. Come on, this way. I'll be damned. Off to a good start. Yeah, let's just hope the rest of it isn't buried under centuries of dirt and rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm just uh, responding to a message. Sam, up here. I'm coming. Alley you. No one's home. Rats. This place has seen better days, huh? Yeah, the roof could use some work. Sam, this way. I don't know if moving that's a good idea. Ah, yeah, that's not happening. Hey, Nathan, I think there's a way through here. It's this way. <laughs> Rusty. Well, all this crawling is a good workout for my quads. Huh, anything up here? the god masonry in here well, where those masons come from? i mean your average ship might have some good carpenters among them and coopers but not masons oh it's something shiny but i wouldn't give for a damn we have one Shut you up. serious yeah yeah it's on the boat with the rest of our stuff oh thanks <laughs> come on Good to stretch out again. Yeah, you said it. Hey, there's a way out. Uh, it's too high, even for a boost. Let's, uh, let's find something to stand on. There's a crate. I got an idea. Here we go. Heads up! in business <clears throat> holy shit you're gonna want to see this whoa. whoa this is libertalia what do you see no houses wide street Clearly a commercial district of some kind. Yes, thank you for that, Nathan. Come on. What do you see? You just want to hear me say it, don't you? I really want to hear you say it. All right. Libertalia. <laughs> Libertalia! The long-lost legendary pirate utopia discovered after 300 years by one Samuel Drake. And? And, and his... Younger, slightly less charming brother who happened to be tagging along for the ride. You know, I always knew you'd make something of yourself one day. Yeah, just so you know, it's not my first lost city. You should, should, should just enjoy the moment. Nice. So, where you want to start? How about that building right over there? Oh, you mean the one with the massive guard tower? Yeah. I say we go see what it was guarding. Works for me. This is... I mean... I'm speechless. Well, I would continue on with this gameplay, but I want to stop right here, guys. So, we managed to find Libertalia, and... 
we'll continue on with the search and the expeditions and all kinds of, you know, funny stuff later on down the line on the next gameplay. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching this gameplay. There's going to be more gameplay for Uncharted 4 of Thief's End in, you know, later times. If not tonight, then maybe sometime tomorrow, maybe after a couple of uh, videos from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which I haven't played in a couple of days, so if I go back online and do some more games on that one, I might be a little sluggish. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for me. So, you know the routine. If you, if you like this video, drop a couple likes if you want to. You're more than welcome to comment in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified about my later uploads. And if you're on your phones and you have the YouTube app, don't forget to switch on the notifications for YouTube whenever you subscribe to me. So that way, whenever I upload a video, whether it's from this one or any other PlayStation 4 game that I have, you'll know when it's coming. You'll know when I've uploaded it. And that's pretty much it. I pretty much got somewhere to be tonight, so this may be the last gameplay I'm going to do for the night. But there's going to be more tomorrow or maybe sometime before Christmas. Hopefully if things are not too crazy. Maybe, you know what, maybe some gameplay will resume after Christmas as well. So who knows, guys. But anyways, thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next gameplay. And until then... Or, actually, before I say my usual sign-off thing, I should say one last thing. If I don't end up finishing some of the gameplay before Christmas, I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, and a Happy New Year to you all, okay? Because Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year. It always has been ever since I was a kid, and it always will be until the day I no longer walk this earth. I will always have the Christmas spirit within me, no matter how old I get. And I'll never, ever, ever stop believing in it. Never. Never in my life will I ever stop believing. I'll always believe. So, again, Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy Holidays. And once again, I will definitely see you in my next gameplay. And now, until then, this is Freddy C. signing off. Happy Holidays, guys and gals. Stay safe out there. Good night.